Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a really, really exciting video. This is a video that I have literally been putting off filming for so long. You guys have been requesting it since we moved into this flat in November and that is of course my flat tour. Now, part of the reason why I've been putting this off for so long is because I'm such a perfectionist and I really didn't want to film this until everything was done. And now I've realized that to be perfectly honest, knowing me, there'll always be something that I want to do and something that I want to change and something I want to add and I don't think it will ever be done. And I think that's the beauty of like homes and interior is that you can always change, there's always something to do, there's always something to look forward to. So I thought, you know what? Today's the day we're gonna do the flat tour and I'm really, really happy with how the flat is looking. So if you are new around here, my name is Ellie. It's really lovely to have you. I live in quite a small two bed flat uh, just outside of London and I rent this flat. So I don't own it myself. I can't paint walls. I can't change carpets or rip out floorboards. So this is me showing you how to make a rented property a home basically and how we've made this small two bed flat feel like a really lovely home for me and my partner. So he's gonna be behind the camera today and showing us around so that I can kind of like point things out and show you the whole flat and a tour of everything in the flat. I will try and link as much as I can in the description box below. If I do forget anything, be sure to leave me a comment and you can ask where things are from. I'm sure that I will have links or at least I'll know where it was from. Um, if it's old, hopefully I'll be able to find you an alternative. So yeah, I thought we can jump straight into this video and I'll show you around my flat. Okay guys, so welcome to my flat. So this is what you see when you first walk in. As I said, it is a very small two bed flat. It's literally got a total of one, two, three, four rooms plus the hallway. Um, so there's not an awful lot to show you around, but I thought you could just come through straight down here. So this is the hallway here and I've added in this console table. Um, I think I spoke about this in a vlog. So we had quite a big issue with finding a console table that fitted the space because this is quite a narrow hallway because of the cupboards. Um, and I found this one on Amazon. This is 20 millimeters, I believe. And all the others that I could find were about 35. So they came out to like here and it just took up way too much space. Um, so this is fine for the space. I wouldn't say I would recommend it. I wouldn't say I wouldn't. Um, but do you want to show you this actually when you were building it? So the screws didn't fit properly. Um, so <laughs> one of the screws went straight through the wood and we have this big mark here. So I just cover that up with some um, magazines. So that's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, I just like decorated it with a few pieces. And then this mirror, this is from Dunelm. And anyone who has a relationship with a bit of a height difference will understand my pain here because I can't see in this mirror. This is a mirror for Alex so that he can actually see himself because I cannot see in that mirror at all. Um, but if you carry on through to the main living area. So this is the kitchen, living room and dining area. So let's start with the kitchen. Now this is a built-in kitchen, obviously with the flat, we can't do anything to change it because this was here when we arrived. Um, the flat's not that old, like I think the, the building's only about three, four years old. Um, so everything is very, very new, very good appliances. Like we've got Bosch, I think, um, an integrated, no, an induction hob, um, and like really good appliances. So it's fab. It's not to my taste, but it's a very, very unoffensive kitchen. I mean, I've lived in some flats with some kitchens that have not been cute. Um, See, so yeah, I just added like a few things onto the side to decorate it a little bit. Um, but this is kind of just a bit of a nothing area to me, to be perfectly honest. And then over here, so this is quite funny actually. So we bought this fridge for our last flat um, and I absolutely love this fridge. It's literally my dream fridge. I've always wanted a fridge looking like this. When we moved into this one, it came with a fridge. There's a built-in fridge here. So we technically have two fridges, but I was like, I'm not getting rid of that blue fridge. I absolutely love it. And also I quite like how it makes the kitchen look more of like an L shape rather than just a strip on the side. So we technically have two fridges. We normally have this one turned off. Um, and we keep like drinks in there and stuff. And then when we have guests around, we can turn it on and like keep all the wine and like beers and stuff in there. So it's quite handy to have actually, um, but yeah, this is just my baby. <laughs> Let's move on to the dining area. So this table we got from Ikea um, and we also got it for our last flat. We absolutely love it, but um, I don't, I think if we were to buy again, I don't know if we'd go for this exact one, just because the space that we've got for it isn't as like, it's not as much space in this flat there was in our last for the dining table, but what we do really love about it is that it pulls out. So it can fit 
up to like six to maybe even eight people a squeeze around it um, if you pull it out which is really really handy um, and then in here I've just got a little basket of a few things um, some decorative things I really like this kind of like farmhouse vibe I think it's really cute um, and these are faux flowers from Matalan Home they're not the best faux flowers in the world um, but I really like having some decorative flowers and I don't really have the budget to keep buying new bouquets every month so I got some faux ones which look quite cute um, and then round to here this is an Ikea shelf that we got. I always get asked about this shelf. I absolutely love it. You guys know I love my open shelving. I really, really love how this looks. Um, so we've got to start up. This is Alex's record player here. And we've got our collection of records. And then just some other like decorative pieces um, that I've got on here, which I really like. My collection of blogosphere magazines, h and bars. So I just really like styling this up. Um, and then this is a Facebook Marketplace find. I featured this in a vlog actually. And I was after some rattan furniture for absolutely ages and I saw this on Facebook Marketplace for 25 quid and I was like, bargain. So I bought this, it just keeps in like my art supplies and candles, just like random bits and bobs that you wouldn't really know where else to store. Um, and then I just decorated it a little bit on top. So I've got some books. This print is from the poster store. I always get asked questions about it. Um, so it's from the poster store, it was gifted as part of a collaboration I did with them. Um, and what really bugs me, and this is going to sound so pedantic, but the gold of this lamp doesn't quite match the gold of the print. And this is a much more brassy gold and that's much more of a yellow gold. I mean, it's tiny but it frustrates the hell out of me. So I might have to look to get a new uh, frame for that print. And then if we move on over here, this is our bar cart. Um, so this is our bar cart, this is the infamous Primark Home bar cart. Um, which we absolutely love. So this baby costs us £30 and I think it just looks so expensive and I really, really love how it looks. We'll just keep this behind the sofa because then it means if you're sitting at the table, if you're sitting at the sofa, it's easy access. Um, so yeah, absolutely love that. I do also want to apologise, I don't know if you can see the scaffolding behind me. Um, so we do actually have a balcony back here, but it's currently out of action due to maintenance on the building. Um, so we can't actually use our balcony. Um, and we've had like this horrible green scaffolding up for absolutely ages. So I do apologise about that. But let's move on to the living room. Okay, so one of the main things that we've really tried to do is kind of like segregate this room and make it feel like different areas within the room. So I didn't want it just to feel really like open and just like one big room. I really wanted it to feel like separate areas, which is why we've kind of like got the kitchen separate to the dining room. And then the way that the sofa is like L-shaped, it means that the living room is quite segregated as well. So this living room will look very familiar if you saw my living room makeover vlog. Um, so we've got some new pieces, including this Dunelm marble table, I absolutely love it. It is my pride and joy, so, so gorgeous. And then we also got this new TV unit from Dunelm. I love it as well. The, it's like got rattan in the front. Um, it's white rattan, so it's not quite the same, but I quite like how it like ties together. So even though we do try to keep it segregated, I want to have quite a like cohesive theme going on in my flat. Um, so I really, really love that. This rug is from Matalan Home, but I don't know I don't think they're still doing it anymore, so I'll see if I can find an alternative to link down below for you guys. And then this IKEA sofa is the bronze leg, I believe it's called, um, and you can like change up how it is. So when I first showed Alex the sofa online, the L was there, and he was like, that's not going to work in the space. Um, but the great thing about it is that you can, it's like modular, so you can change the sofa how you like it. Um, and then this is just a radiator cover that I kind of uses more like a mantle style. Um, we don't have like a fireplace or anything like that, like it is quite a new flat, so we don't have any like features in it. Um, so I like to use this as a bit of a feature. This is a wayfair mirror that I've added over the top, um, and then I just like to style up the mantle. You'll probably see this change bi-weekly, I swear to God, I am the most fickle person when it comes to styling up things like this. But I really, really love how it looks. I've added in a few more like industrial things. I got this pot actually, I'll link it down below. I'm, I'm so in love with it, it's actually a plant pot. Um, but I'm just using it as like a little decorative vase. And I really, really love the kind of more like industrial vibe to it. So that is the living room. Now let's move on to the bedrooms. Okay, so this is bedroom at number one and you will recognize this if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my dressing room makeover. So this is a multifunctional room. I use this as my office and dressing room and also it is a guest bedroom. So we have this Ikea pull-out bed here. I believe this is the Hemneys bed. Um, and we got this because we didn't want to have a full double bed taking up too much space in here because we don't have guests around all that much. Um, but it does mean that when they come round, we can pull the bed out 
and it pulls out to two single beds. So I think it's about a king size bed when you've pulled it out. Um, and it means it's really, really comfortable for them to sleep on. And then this is my pride and joy, my gallery wall. You guys have seen this. I'm so in love with how it looks. I did this as a collaboration with the poster store and I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I think it just really completes this room and makes the wall look bigger than it is actually. I was really worried that it would make the wall look a lot smaller, but I think it's worked out really well to make the wall look quite big and spacious. This is my maze.com chat. I get so many questions about this chair. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're doing it anymore. It's sold out and I don't think they're restocking it. I'll see if I can find a similar one um, that I can link down below, but I can't promise you anything. Um, but I absolutely love this chair. I'm gutted that they're not doing it anymore because it's such a comfy chair. It's a perfect chair to sit and edit or like read a book and like snuggle up. It's a really, really comfy chair. And then um, I added the, these curtains myself and you guys would have seen that in a vlog. Um, I really, really like how the curtains kind of like soften the room a little bit and just like finish off the space. And then if we move on to this corner, so this is my makeup vanity. This was actually just an old console table that we had in storage um, that I decided to take out and use as my makeup desk and I really love how it looks. The wood just really softens this room a little bit and it goes quite well with the rug, um, which this rug actually you would have seen in my living room makeover vlog and um, we were deciding whether to keep that one or the blue one in the living room. I've ended up keeping the blue one in there and I've put this one in here and I really, really like how it looks. I think it makes the room look a, a bit less like girly and just a little bit more like natural and neutral. Um, so I really like how that looks. This chair is an amazing eBay find that I got recently. Bearing in mind that you normally have to pay like between 100 and 200 pounds for these kinds of rattan chairs, I found this for 12 pounds 50 on an eBay auction. Um, so I had to go pick it up, it was about half an hour away, um, but it was totally worth it for 12 pounds 50, so I'm absolutely in love with it. I did say I wasn't sure if I was gonna paint it black. I decided I'm gonna keep it this very natural wooden color because I just really like how the dark wood goes with the mango wood. I think it looks really, really nice. And then if you come over to here, I really love this corner. This is much more of like the dressing room corner. So these are my shelves. I absolutely love how these look. These are the Ikea Billy bookcases. Um, I didn't want to get an actual built-in wardrobe, mainly because I already had this wardrobe and I didn't want to get rid of it and then spend more money on something similar. And also I like how it's got the doors. I really don't like open wardrobes personally. I just think it looks really messy and makes the room look smaller. Um, so I wanted to get something, I wanted to keep this because it had the doors. And then I've got the Billy bookcases um, added on top and I really like how they look. Um, I actually get a few questions. Back here is where I keep my tripod and my spare rail. So I do have a rail that I put some clothes on sometimes when I'm like filming. And someone asked me recently, I'm like, where do you keep them? So I literally have deliberately left this little gap and it's only like that big and they just slip out, which is really handy. Um, but yeah, absolutely love my shelves. If you'd seen, <laughs> Uh, I think, did I put on my stories or a vlog? I can't remember, but basically Alex built this one and it's perfect. I built this one and I made a boo-boo and I built this shelf the wrong way around. So this is the chip wood that I've literally painted white to try and cover up the fact that I built it the wrong way around. Um, but oh well, I feel like you can't really tell that much. Um, it's just one of those things that I just like to laugh about because it just shows what an idiot I am. Um, but yeah, I love the shelves. I think I'm gonna restyle them soon. So look out for that in a vlog. I asked you guys where you'd like to see it and you said you wanna see it in a vlog. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Um, but yeah, this is basically my room that I have all to myself. Alex is very, very generous in letting me have this room. Um, and it's so, so fabulous. And it really helps me do my job. So let's move on to the bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. And I'm not gonna lie, this is my least favorite room in the house. One of the reasons I've been putting off filming this for so long is because this room is very much incomplete. And I'm just, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not happy with how it looks. But I thought I would show you it anyway. And then we can also show you like, the before and after when we do eventually do this up. So we have a king size bed because my boyfriend is six foot three and he is the tallest man in the world, which means he needs a big bed, otherwise his legs hang off the end. Um, so this mattress that we got was actually gifted from um, Dreams and I absolutely love it. I'll link the exact mattress that it is in the description box below. Really, really love it. It's a really thick mattress. Like you can literally see compared to my hand how thick it is. Um, I definitely recommend that. The bed frame is one of the main things I want to change in here. I hate our bed frame. We got it because it was quite affordable um, and it was when we moved into our first flat and we didn't have a lot of money. Um, so we just got it because it was kind of like convenient, but to be perfectly honest, it's not as convenient as we thought it would be. We wanted to get one that's open so we can put like boxes underneath, 
but this for some reason there's like such a tiny gap between the, the floor and the bed you have to lift up the entire bed to be able to get down underneath which I just think is a bit like ridiculous and then it also means because there's a headboard like wax onto the wall and I'm scared of marking it so definitely want to get a new bed um just take this one to further the others um but this I'll talk about this print actually over here so this is a artist I can't remember her name but she's got her initials on there um but this is my tangled print I absolutely love it I got loads of comments from you guys about it when you saw it in the story I will link the exact print down below. It's an artist that I think commissioned like a certain number of prints um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. You've got the little boat and the lights and I just love it so, so much. Um, so yeah, and then these pillows, and I spoke about these in a vlog. Um, so I was deciding between whether to get these or whether to get um, some darker blue ones. I ended up going for these just to try and lighten up the room a little bit. And then also the new bed frame that I like, I think they would really, really go with the vibe. Um, it's a bit more like farmhouse -y, the bed frame that I want to get. Um, so I hope we can get that soon. Um, but yeah, and then like, I've just got a few plants and stuff and our wash bag over here. This is a Zara home wash bag. Really, really handy because it's got the lights and the darks like segregated. Um, so that's very handy. And then this is our giant wardrobe. I do absolutely love this. It's a three, like not a double wardrobe, a triple wardrobe. Um, the only thing that I hate is I don't like how it's mirrored. It gets really, really grubby, like fingerprints on it and everything. And I don't like how when you wake up and you're looking absolutely crap in the morning and you turn around and you just look at your face and you're like, okay, I did not need to see that. Um, but these were built in, so we weren't complaining, but I don't think this is something that I would go for if I was to choose it myself. Um, but then moving on, we have this little bookshelf back here. This space was very empty um, and it was just a bit of a weird space because you couldn't really put anything in it because of the door. Um, so I had these shelves already, I decided just to pop those in. Um, they're just a cheap, I think they were Argos set of shelves that cost me like 40 quid. Um, they're falling apart, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Um, I quite like how they look to fill the space, to be perfectly honest, they're not functional in any way, shape or form. They're just decorative. So in the mood board that I've been doing for the bedroom, these aren't in there and I don't know if we're gonna keep them, so I might be looking to sell them. This chest of drawers, this is from Dun Elm. I really, really love it. It's a great chest of drawers, like it's really big and spacious. It houses all of Alex's tops, jeans, pajamas, everything. Um, and I do like how it looks. I want to style it up a little bit more. This is kind of something I've just thrown together for now. Um, I want to get like a nice big mirror and stuff just to style this up. Um, but one thing I will say actually, which I, I'm really surprised at, is basically we used to have a reed diffuser on here and it knocked over and spilt some of the oil and it's literally like burned into the grey, so it's gone white underneath. Um, I don't really know how we can fix that, so it's just like a big white splodge in the corner, which really bugs me. Um, but yeah, so that's this room. This is probably going to change fairly soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like anyway. So the last room we'll move on to is probably the most uninteresting room. That's just the bathroom. As I said, this is a rented property. So we've had no say over this. Um, this is what the bathroom looks like. It's got a really annoying fan, um, which comes on, but we've got our little get naked bath mat. Very cute, not very functional. It's not a very good drying mat. Um, but yeah, this is what our bathroom looks like. There's not really much more to say about that. <laughs> So that is our flat tour done and dusted. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do be sure to give it a like if you did and keep your eye out for lots more interior content. As I said, I'm really not done and I don't think I ever will be done with this flat with regards to like decorating it and styling it up. Um, so keep your eyes peeled if you like the interior content. There's gonna be lots more coming your way. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you were new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.